Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? Uh, as you can hear, I am your one sick furry boy, Neva, and you're watching The Never Show. Yes, that show with lemon-scented limes and supernatural, super awesome. Third eyes, I mean, why ask why? Stick that button on your forehead, kids. And before we get started, I'd just like to th say thank you for subscribing to me. Thank you for being my YouTube friends. I don't know what I do to deserve YouTube friends like you. It's better than I expect and more than I ever thought I would deserve. Thanks for those like buttons, hitting that subscribe button, and that little bell icon. I mean, what more could a guy ask for? I just want to say one little quick thing, and then we're going to be done with this. So uh, I just don't want to watch T-Series overtake PewDiePie, so make sure you subscribe to PewDiePie. I want to see a single creator on this platform succeed and not be overtaken by a network just to be honest with you with all that said you've clicked on that superb thumbnail you know what movie we're reviewing so let's get right into it shall we And today's movie is The Kid Who Would Be King. It is a PG movie. It is two hours, which satisfies my OCD so well. I did ED ADD a little bit, but it's because of the way I feel it's because of the way this movie was presented. Just to be honest with you, it is a family fantasy adventure. Not in that order, but hey, we got to have some jokes somewhere. <laughs> Uh, our director and writer was Joe Cornish. I'm not too familiar with any of Cornish's work as a director, just to be honest with you. I actually did have to look it up, and he has seven credits, none of which I have ever seen. So I can't really say that I like or dislike his directing style. For me, it was decent, and that's something that's always frustrating when you have to just wing it on things. Our cast first build only because no one deserves to listen to me read names all day. Only those people at Guantanamo Bay deserve that. <laughs> uh, Lewis Ashbourne Circus as Alex. Love this kid. His emoting needs work. His facial expressions need work because, man, he was a Spanx. <laughs> uh, Denise Goff as Mary. Dean Chumbo as Betters. Love Dean. He was cute. I mean, this kid was super hoggable. Tom Taylor as Lance. Rihanna Doris as Kaylee. Nathan Stewart Jarrett as Mr. Kepler. Norman, Norma Demsquin, if I'm pronouncing it right. If not, in the comments, please, as Miss Lee. Rebecca Ferguson as Morgana. Mark Bonner as Mr. Jeffries. Angus Immer as Young Merlin. And Patrick, Sir Patrick Stewart, got to catch myself. As Old Merlin, I'm surprised that Sir Patrick Stewart is still, you know, hanging in there making live action movies. At 78, I'm afraid that we're gonna see we're gonna see him in the obits not too soon from now. And he looked terrible in this movie. I don't know what he's doing to himself, but he either they made him look bad or the makeup. I don't know, but he's. Just looks horrible. Lewis Martin as off license, off license employee. Joe Ashton as policeman. Adam Lease as policeman. Alexander Roach as Miss Foster. Nick Noma Noman as Mr. Hyde. And that's our cast first build. Thank God I didn't have to read any more names. Because <laughs> that's someone I've to been told that that's somewhat torture. Ah, uh, production company. <coughs> <coughs> 
Our production companies were our Big Talk Pictures, Working Title Films, our distributor here in the good old United States of America. God bless America. Land that I love was 20th Century Fox Films. Ah. Our special effects are th- credited to Centerfold Motion Picture, Double Negative, Ro- and Rodeo VFX and TPO VFX. And I do have to complain about the effects here. It's very, very stock imagey. I feel like I've seen the knights with the flaming swords and the um, footmen with the flaming swords in some video game or something. And I can't put my finger on it. And it was really bothering me. Uh, Also, the props and weapons seem very, uh, what do you call it? Halloween shoppy kind of thing. I mean, there's some really good props, and then there's stuff that looks like it came from the, you know, Halloween spirit store kind of feel. Uh, Like they reused it from someplace else. Like, I've seen these helmets and this armor before. I just can't put my finger on it, whether it be in other films or video games. It feels very recycled. Uh, my thoughts on the film. Uh, I did have problems with the runtime, and it's because it has such a big build on the front to get to um, Lewis Ashbourne Circus pulling the sword from the stone, and then there's a big build after that till he meets uh, Angus Emir as young Merlin, and I feel like a lot of that could have been cut down for time. And this could have been make me, maybe an hour and 30 kind of movie, just to be honest with you. And yeah, I kind of don't understand why this is a 6.4 out of 10 on IMDb. And it is an 86% on Rotten Tomatoes and they're certifying it fresh just because it's a very kiddie movie. It's, you know, you got to kind of turn off your brain and think you're a teenager it's one of those frustrating things where you like it, but visually it's just not super appealing to you. It's got a great story with a great message, and I'm not discounting that, just to be honest with you. And I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> I do want to see what CinemaSins thinks, just because if I feel this way... I do want to see what they think because they might see something that in the continuity or something that I may have overlooked just as your casual reviewer. Just to be honest with you. Um, I definitely see this as a TV watch. I'm going to pass on a DVD buy. And for, just to be honest with you, this is a one and done kind of theater thing. So if you're going to go see it, go see it. But uh, it's good film for the family. I think if you have kids and you're going to go see this, you'll probably enjoy this. If not, uh, I, I'd say it's a hard pass for, you, for older adults, just to be honest with you. I didn't really lose myself in the narrative, and I can understand why. This is, you know, kids in secondary school or, you know, middle school for us here in America because we don't have <laughs> secondary school. With all that said, if you like what you see in here, make sure you click that like button. Uh, like what you like. Don't let YouTube tell you what you like. So hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Remember, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. Tell me your realities, your fan fictions, your tales of ennui, your tales of yay. If you like this film or if you hated this film, let me know in the comments. Your comments are the highlight of my day, especially when I'm sick. (coughs) And you know I have to ask. We have an Amazon. We have a Patreon. And... It's not without your donations that keep this channel afloat. I cannot do it without viewers like you. Please think about donating. We could really use your help at this time. And I'd like to thank you all for the donations in the past. With all that said, because I say this so much and it is a giant running joke on my channel. If you want to see more of this nonsense, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Ring a ding ding. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye.